Every episode of this show is like its own movie, and so few of them ever really take place on our standing sets. It was really attractive and unique to this one that we felt like we could kind of do one that was a bottle. There was sort of like a minimalist vibe to this whole episode, which I really was into. This is one of those examples where we were able to just sit with the kids while they played and just a kind of a wide shot. So why are you so suddenly into realistic video games? I already was. Yeah, but now you're into them the way I am. You mean like staring at them in a numb trance? Uh huh. This is a scene where they both, without having to even look at each other, can acknowledge like, let's not be present right now. Let's disassociate together. Together. The inspiration had been succession for, for that type of scene. Like we loved how the adult kids in that show talk to each other in that kind of conniving side talk. Not judging, just noticing. Yeah, you, you tend to notice stuff a little before I do. But eventually you do notice. And now we can both not notice together, yes. It's a unique beat in the episode. Every other time you're gaming off the couch to be on the floor playing games cross-legged. That's sort of how I used to play video games with my brother. And the scene that follows that where Beth is sort of trying to just see if this is kosher with her dad. Um, what's this? Making a controller. This species of bionic space whale has carbon wiring. I'd been trying to get a space whale in for quite a while. Come here, hold the pup down. Inspiration for that scene was actually from Game of Thrones. There's a scene, I believe, in season one where Tywin Lannister is like breaking down a buck. When we're introduced to the patriarch of the Lannister family, he's like digging in the carcass of a deer and can't even take the time to make eye contact with his kid who's coming to him. And so I, I was like, let's just have Rick be that guy. You're talking about an infinite father. I've met myself out there infinite times. Infinite shit happens. We kind of thought it would be interesting just to give Rick something rigorous to do while he's dispensing the most fatherly advice we've maybe seen him dispense in the show. Don't worry about what's crazy. You know, as the kids say, you do you. As bad a father as Rick can be, the one version of a bad father he's never gonna be, he's never gonna be the dad that says, when I was your age, I never, <laughs> he's never gonna be the dad that says that. He's a lot more like the dad at the end of Call Me By Your Name than any <laughs> like dad.